Hello everyone! Hello, hello! We are back for another video. Yes, we are going to react to four countries that are going to participate in Junior Eurovision this year. Which countries are that? You would tell me. The most excited moments? Spain. Spain. Then our own country. The Netherlands, of Ooh, course. The Netherlands. 12 points, of course. No, oh. We can be that uh, supported, oh, no, no, right? No, we're we, not fired. We have to wait all. for the song. If it's perfect, of course, we'll give them 12 <laughs> points. Ireland is the third country. Very we'll interesting. I am very curious. Again, yes. Yeah. And, the, and country. the host country itself, Armenia. Armenia. And you have a special bond with Armenia. Yes. So we are super excited to hear these four countries. I am very excited, actually. Yes, me too. I am. So let's just start with Let's India. start. Yes. So the first country is uh, Spain. The singer is Carlos. He is Carlos. actually only 11 years old. That's very young. And you know, he already likes debating, reading and doing poetry. When I was 11, I was just playing in a playground outside and <laughs> not, yeah, I was just enjoying life. But I well, I guess it's just a very serious guy. Very serious. And he is going to perform at Junior Eurovision this year. So that is really cool. Indeed. And I have to say, uh, he got picked out of 95 applicants so oh, very i lucky think this guy, song has him. to be great <laughs> otherwise the other 94 uh, would be shit or very something, sad sure. yeah 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 i think it's it, it, it has to be a good song i'm very curious spain is always uh, up for, well, not always but up, very interesting um entries they always well let's girls. let's keep the channel vibes yes and curious. let's see what they bring to junior senorita i see this is uh there we go Oh, Valencia. That's Valencia, indeed. Love the video clip already. I like his style. I feel summer coming in, even though it's going to be the middle of December. <laughs> Spain brings the sun. To Ibiza. I love this. Yeah, good oh. dance moves in this video clip. Didn't expect this drop though. But it feels so Spanish. I no? I just can't sit still. I'm not even kidding. I love his hoodie actually. You want to order it? Yes. Maybe you can DM him. <laughs> he doesn't look like someone who is doing poetry. No, I was days. thinking that too. He looks like a very trendy kid that's um, like the oversized fit, everything. Indeed, indeed. I love how they had all of Valencia and they decided to record under one bridge, but... <laughs> well, we had the long shots in that's the true. beginning. I like the video clip. Yeah, it's a very it's a nice fun quality. Also, yes, yeah. yes, and colorful as well. Some street love. arts and stuff. It's very summery. This oh, and this also sounds very Spanish. Yes, like the the, the bridge. Okay. Dance break? Yes, we we see some similarities Spain here. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. This video clip. This is like a TikTok the song, dance. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they have thought about that, I'm sure. And who's the senorita of 
Yeah, there are a lot of senoritas there. A few there. senoritas there. <laughs> also, some senores. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Well done, Spain. Wow. I am completely in for these kind of songs. Summery, like nice and dancing. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm ready for summer, even though it is coming to Christmas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> indeed, indeed. First, I have to take a sip of my tea. Yes, go for and it. it. And then think of all those summers that you uh, mm. spent in Spain. <laughs> yeah, I was three weeks in Spain this year. I see. I have to say, I expected something like this from Spain, right? Uh, because of the vibes, it's uh, summery indeed, and it's yes. very young and fresh, and a lot of dancing in it. I'm uh, not sure if I like the drop. So when okay. he uh, mm -hmm. starts singing about Señorita, la, 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 yes, yes, yes. Um, I think that part is a little bit more. Um, it fits more to Junior Eurovision. Right. And I think that can be a good thing, actually. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I like it yet, but it's a very energetic song. Mm -hmm. and that's a big compliment for Spain. Yes, uh, yes. And what do you think? Well, I think that if they manage to bring this energy we see in the video clip to the stage, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I think, just more in general, this year's um, quality of songs is very good. Um, my, maybe this is something you would expect from Spain, but that's not a reason to not like it. I am a complete fan. Yes, yes, this is one of my favorites. I can already uh, and, and, and can you see that uh, our young Carlos is a fan of Chanel and Blas Canto, who also yes. participated in the well, Eurovision Song Contest? As we said during the video clip, the dance break, we, that's definitely, um, I think, um, a connection to like Eurovision last year, or this year actually, of course, with Chanel. Um, Maybe Chanel would be one of the dancers. I don't know. Is, is it possible? Like the singers have to be uh, know, maximum actually. 14 years old. I, I don't think <laughs> I've ever seen an adult on the junior no, Eurovision no. stage, but no, I'm all for this song and I absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it as well. Yeah. Great job. So let's continue then to, to the next country. Song, yes. I forgot which which country. Which is one it was it again? It was <laughs> it was the, the Netherlands, Netherlands, of course. Oh, that was nice timing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we have nice timing always. <laughs> uh, it's or also young and energetic Luna. Luna. And she is from Limburg. Try to pronounce that. It's very hard. It would not with that G. Like oh, that's oh, but yeah, Limburg. That's how they say it. Oh, we can't make I, fun. I won't. I won't try that. No, that's no. maybe a bit insensitive of me. I'm sorry, Limburg. I didn't mean to. <laughs> and you, you know what a, a, a fun fact is about Limburg? Tell me. Uh, you know the capital city of Limburg? Yes, it's Maastricht. Indeed, and Maastricht was one of the possible host cities for the Eurovision Song Contest in the Netherlands. Yes, and I was. I can admit very happy that they didn't get it, but <laughs> Maastricht is a very beautiful city. Go and visit. But we are getting distracted. Um, the Netherlands this year, yes. was, um, which song was it again? You can tell me. Well, Luna will sing La Festa. La and Festa. I know you think, why La Festa? Isn't that it's Italian? A, it, it is Italian, actually. I see. And that's because I think uh, her father is half Italian. Oh. So she has these Italian roots and uh, she is coming for it with a song for the Netherlands, La Festa. She also participated in The Voice Kids in the Netherlands. Right, yes. And she did some musicals. So she so knows what she's doing. I think she knows what she's doing. And I think Netherlands also know what they have sent. Right. Um, and besides that, she also likes to what does she like again? Use the iPad. Then use the iPad to draw. Just like me. I make... <laughs> yeah, but she makes art on it. What do you do on your iPad? Well, I play games. I see. Candy Crush. Nice. Mm. Secret. <laughs> <laughs> let's just listen to the song. I am very curious. I am very curious. La Festa. Mm. Let's go. Mm. I'm perfecting. Peace. So an hour of secret uh, is that we can actually understand what she's saying. You can see the energy that she has. She knows what she's doing on stage. It looks very colorful again. Oh, it's mixed. Oh, the video clip oh, and the... yes, the, the beat is coming. 
It's like a little festa on stage with the... And Italian colors? Green, white, red. Nice. I love the suit. Yeah, I love the outfit too. Nice dancing again. Bellissimo. Okay. She has a lot of energy. Yes. And I can, energy. I can feel it again too. Okay. Oh, nice. This is the Trumpets. Italian. Um, is yeah. it trumpet? <laughs> no, no, like the. Oh, yeah, I, I hear it. Yeah. Nice detail. I want a bubble gun like that. You, why? That's a. You're Just too old for a that big dream I had. <laughs> You're never too old for it. That's true. Fun. Oh, all the fans. Let's go. Let's go. They were all hyping her up to backstage. It's getting a bit repetitive, but I, 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 I like it. Another dance break. Okay. It is definitely fashion to do that, I think. Oh, And she can dance. She definitely wow. can. And, and she can sing at the same time. That is impressive. And she doesn't sound tired. Not at all. In the video. In the video. So we have to yeah. wait for your alarm. No, oh, I love that they mix up with, yeah. that up with her winning moment. That is uh, clever. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, wow. are you Ooh. feeling the festa already? I am feeling the festa, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my first reaction is, if you wouldn't tell me, like, okay, besides the lyrics, of course, and the language, uh, um, but if I only heard a song, I would have maybe thought that this also could be Spain, for example, Fair, because yes. there's a lot of energy in it and there's a lot of positivity in the song and mm -hmm. the dance break and the beat. I just love it and I didn't expect something like this from the Netherlands because mostly they come yes. with some kind of ballads, also mm -hmm. last year, of course, uh, with Ayana and her ballads, uh, which ended up uh, at the last place, unfortunately. Uh, but I think the Netherlands has, uh, yeah thought of something else and yes. decided to come something up with something completely some, different than you know, last year yeah, with an up-tempo song what do you think well i absolutely love it again i do think that at some point it gets a bit repetitive as we've already noticed before and mm -hmm. there is quite a lot of variation in a beat and tempo in this song and i don't know if i quite like it um i do love the i the um, um the attention for detail in it with like some kind yeah. of italian sounding yeah. um i agree uh, instrument and what i personally find really funny is that you at some point you hear that trumpet beat like whoop, yeah whoop, whoop. i like that and, part as well well that's like really carnival which is a very big uh thing in the south of the netherlands yeah, every yeah, year yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you hear their carnival music it's really always with that trumpet beat too so i think it's like a little um wink to carnival too in a way i don't know if they did that on purpose but i find it really funny yes yeah. <laughs> and i have to be honest it was not my first time listening no, to the song no it definitely wasn't because luna as you could, could have seen maybe in the video clip she won junior song festival that's the, the dutch pre-selection actually for the uh junior for junior eurovision mm -hmm. and i went there and i already listened to her uh, yes. and she can sing uh, perfectly live mm -hmm. i think that if she can maybe if they can improve their staging because this was the kind of a little bit uh, was a plain, form. Yeah, yes, plain yes 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 but if, if, if they'll bring the dancers which uh, i'm sure of yes. they will do I think it will be one a big party uh, 
uh, together with Spain uh, already yes. in Yerevan, I'm sure. It's going to be such a joy for your junior it song will. contest this year. And I actually can't wait. And a um, lot of dancing involved in this act too. So I yeah. hope that she can keep her breath. But I think you saw her life. That wasn't really a problem for her in Rotterdam. No, it, in wasn't, Hawaii. it wasn't. So I so... hope maybe the nurse or something, maybe she will get uh, excited. I'm... Uh, in, in Yerevan, because of course it will be a bigger stage, it's it will a, be in front of bigger, the, yes. the whole the country, also Europe mm -hmm. and uh, beyond, so yeah, it will be exciting. Yeah. But I'm sure she's going to do great, yeah. and I actually can't wait. Me neither. And what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments as we proceed to the next country. And that is Ireland. That is Ireland. So, Ireland is going to Armenia with yes. their representative. Sophie Lennon and the title <laughs> Solas. It must be Irish. I it don't must know. Be. Because last year they also had a song in Irish, didn't they? They had a song in Irish. This boy, right? A little yes. bit of a rock song mm -hmm. or something like that. Uh, also a lot of energy. Yes. Um, and I think the Irish language is quite fascinating because I always think it sounds a lot of like uh, like English but it doesn't at all and the thing to is me. Um, the thing with Irish is that um, actually not a lot of people in Ireland do frequently speak uh, Irish so English is like most commonly used it, it, that's what I understood of it so in that light I find it very interesting that their entry for Eurovision for this that I don't know for how many times is now it is but is in Irish it must be nice oh to the, the language I'm really curious so maybe we should just listen to it yes then, yes but first let's tell me that she is only 13 years old oh yeah yes yes and she already participated she actually won the BBC school soloist of the year I cannot even imagine like participating and also winning it <laughs> at that age already and Very she plays young. Fiona Shrek iconic in the in the musical iconic wow I, I think that this can only be you don't even do it. A match. So let's just listen to yes. it indeed. This is Ireland's calling. Ooh, dark. Mystic. She's like a princess. Lyric. You see, I don't understand anything of Irish. It reminds me of Zelda. Yes. <laughs> She's very pretty. I love the video clip already. It reminds me a bit. <laughs> My heart will go on to the yawn. <laughs> me too, to be honest. The first part. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she trips. Oh, no. Shadows after sunset. A lot of pain after that form. I love her hair. I'm running up that hill. It's close now. I really love the harp music in it. That's really nice. Yeah. Makes it a bit more classical because there's also some modern beats mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, but also like an O2 Ireland, it's their national uh, instrument. Is it? Uh, yes, it's, it's oh, wow. all their symbols. Um... Clever choice. There's no. <laughs> Sorry, I really hear <laughs> that in here. You can sing instead of her if you want. I love the landscape as well. It's, it's so very pretty. Empty and also full of lights and. Beautiful surroundings. She really wants to get into that lighthouse. I wonder who's in there. No, no one <laughs> opens the door yet. Yet. We don't know. Oh. A magical key. And there comes some up-tempo beat. Oh, there's lightning. The gold ring is the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit? <laughs> no, that's New Zealand. She's going to switch on the lighthouse for in the middle of the day. That's not very practical. Oh, also, not so very good for the environment, of course. In this economy, 
Oh! Outfit change. Yellow. Like Beauty and Beasts. Oh, and it suits her hair as well, the color, the bright color. Okay. I know what Ireland is trying. Let's <laughs> see ending? Yeah. Okay. I expected maybe some. Hmm. Very Irish. Um, like, obviously, with lyrics, with a uh, <laughs> red haired girl. Um, the whole theme of the song, the little touch of harp that's playing in it. Yeah. Um, I really like it. It's like a little fairy tale. Um, it is when you imagine a fairy tale, you could imagine this being the soundtrack of it. And yeah. I, I like it. I, yeah. What do you think? And it reminds you also of the Titanic soundtrack, right? Yes, <laughs> and that that first point of yeah. the chord. The chorus is um, really like you're here. Okay, sorry, we should we have to have to turn that, <laughs> but <laughs> I just got it out. <laughs> um, it does yeah. remind me of. I Canada had the same. Movie. I had the same. I the video same. clip with all the waves and stuff. So yeah, yes. <laughs> I have to say, I didn't. I I did expect something uh, like this from Ireland. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Maybe because they had some other ballads. Not not last year, of course, but they had some in the past. Um, I think the production is nice. The video clip clip is also nice, not completely my thing. Alright. To be honest. Like with um uh I, I understand the switch of the dress. It was first of all green. Maybe it has some connection with Ireland. Uh, and then when when she saw the lights and everything was turned on, it was like yellow and bright, and that was nice, but I I don't know. I I just like the story of it. That was yes. really nice. And I also loved the way she sang it. I think this is a song, even though I don't know her, but I think this is a song that fits uh, the girl, that fits or uh, yes. Sophie. Yes. And uh, I think it's, I think I didn't hear any English in it, but I'm no, not sure. I, I don't think there was any English in it. And I, I, I wouldn't expect that actually from Ireland, but that can be also, um, uh, how do you say it? Pre-assumption? Yes. No, I think it's actually quite logical that they yeah. keep it completely Irish. The Irish are quite proud, I think, of their own culture, as they should be. It's a very beautiful country. I hope to visit one day. Um, so I'm very happy that they did that. And I have one big question. Will they do that outfit change on stage Ooh, too? Didn't I didn't even think of that. I can't wait. I'm here. Now you say I will be waiting for a grand outfit change. I think they will actually. I think yeah, they need I didn't to do think it of that, now. but I think that, yeah, they, yeah, they have. They have. Yes. I think they don't have any other choice. We're going to be very disappointed with Ireland if you don't do an outfit change. So, you don't Ireland, want to make listen us to us, the delegation, yes. and, and Sophie. It was a great song, but don't forget the outfit change. The outfit change, indeed. <laughs> So, do you want to say anything else? No, I uh, I'm I'm a fan actually. I've uh, only heard good songs in this video, yeah. and it was also for now at least a nice mix between some up tempo songs yes. and a, a ballad, a power ballad, yes. real power ballad. Uh, and guys, let us please know what do you think about Ireland? Uh, do you like it as much as we do, or you have some other opinion? Write it in the comments. And we will proceed to the last country of this yes. video. Another highlight of this video, because we were obviously very excited for the Netherlands, but you, especially you, but also a bit me, are also very excited for the next country, which is Armenia, Armenia the, the host, host country. country. Um, yes, what can we say in forehand? Armenia, tell me. Well. Armenia is actually the country with the best results in Junior Eurovision overall. Mm, nice. So they have, that's already a good thing like to have as an achievement, but it's also very difficult, I think, for the participants, especially Obviously. for the young participants to know that it gives, pressure. It gives, it pressure. gives some pressure uh, indeed, uh, and also for the kids. And I think it gives extra pressure when you will be the next one after Malena. Yes, no, I can Because Malena imagine. just, if it's up to me, uh, brought the Junior Eurovision to a next level, yes. a different level. Mm -hmm. uh, the music clip and the song, it was so mature, but also very professional. Yes. And I'm just very curious what Armenia will do right now, because most of the, not most of the times, but 
a lot of times you see host countries um, taking a step back whenever yes, they host. Because the organization of the event itself is already such a big thing. Of course, and... yes. And maybe they don't want to win again. I can also understand for a country as Armenia that it will be very difficult to yes. host, a con- uh, host, host a contest two times in a row. But let's see. Well, uh, what do you think? I'm very curious, and we have a nice title. It's called Dance in Capitals and Explanation yes. Marks. So that makes me already quite excited. I think we should just listen to it. Let's do it. Armenia. Armenia. Oh, maar dan zie je wel een beetje een ander scherm. Oh, maar dit doet gewoon zo, toch? Dat is oké. Okay. Wacht even. Oké. Okay. Op tempo, as we expected. What an entrance. Oké. Okay. She looks also very mature. Look and dancers in that car. Very funky. Yes, funky. That's a good word to describe it. Christmas trees. Or not. <laughs> oh, I love this already. Oh. Uh, they made it like a dance song. You can actually, I see the whole audience already going yeah. for this. Very disco, funky. Yeah, almost like oh, going. I'm... Look at the dancers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Almost going back in time a little bit with the sound, indeed. And it's mixed. I mean, in English. Yeah, but of eighty sounds. I think it is, but also quite modern. Yes, at the same time. What we're listening to at the moment, a lot of oh, course. lover style. Oh God, the hair. Oh, her voice is good. She can sing. Ooh. Oh, rap break. In Armenian. And the beat. Love it. Cool dance. Dance break dance again. Break. Yeah, that's, this is the year of the dance breaks. We can do um, without dog legs. This little flute thing. Of course, the high notes. Oh. Wow, yeah. It's a nice video clip again. Also very funky, a lot of colors. Mm-hmm. Okay, turning off the lights. This is definitely the video of not being able to sit still. I definitely absolutely not. love it. Um, dance, the title already says it. And this is um, like really a dance song, a bit unique actually within the things we've heard. Like really with the dance music. Yeah. So I'm excited. I really love this song again. I didn't expect this from Armenia. I thought she, they would uh, take a step back mm-hmm. actually, to be honest. And I don't know. It was kind of uh, mature, but also very childy and uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it actually. I just really love that little wink to back to the eighties with like the funky disco sound, but then yeah. make it like a dance song for now, for today. Um, yes, I really love the aesthetic of the video clip and if they can bring something that, like that to the stage, I'm all here for it. I expect maybe like a big car on yeah. stage or something. Oh, wow. That would be so they cool. They could do that. But a car that's not driving, I hope. I hope <laughs> that they don't drive that. <laughs> dangerous. And, but, but the most important question is, do you think she, well, let's start with, do you think she can, um, 
reach uh, Malena's level of last yes. year? Yes, yes, I definitely think that too. I think that um, maybe last year it was really, really something new what Malena brought, and this year maybe that new part has maybe left the chat a little bit but that doesn't change the fact that this song in its its own is, is unique in its own sense uh, again yeah so yes I, I could i think it could reach the same height yes do you think it can win again well that's mm, yes i think so i think <laughs> wow. so but we've heard like a, quite wow. a few songs n now and um yes i i think this year's mm. competition is quite strong actually but yeah, it's it's completely something else, of course, than last year's song. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm just very curious if they can. Indeed, it's it, it's different, but I think it's also not a good thing to um, bring exactly the same vibe and song as the last no, year. So the wouldn't not. be a good thing. And I think Nara is also full of energy, and uh, I think along with the dancers, yes, they will move. Not only Yerevan, not only Armenia, but I think across the whole Europe. Yes, uh, yes everyone yes. is watching in front of the TV. Um, but I'm very excited to see how this will look like on stage. Me too. Yes. Well, cool. So I think it's our opinion. Yes. What do you think? Please let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And then we'll see you next time, I think. In the next video, indeed. Yes, right. Bye-bye. <laughs>